How's it going, everybody? JP here, and we're going to talk some Bates Motel, Episode 3. Um, this one's titled, What's Wrong with Norman? And first, let me just say, spoiler heavy, tons of spoilers, um, spoiling everything. So if you don't want the show ruined or spoiled, do not watch. Uh, fair warning. Um, this episode opens up. We have um, Emma talking with Norman, and you get, you get the sense that she's really distraught over the Chinese girl's body. Um, in the previous episode, they was looking for the, the body of a Chinese girl that they found out about the whole Chinese sex trafficking slave thing uh, in the little pocketbook, and uh, they was looking for her body using the book. They stumble across the marijuana field, and you know, they get chased out of there with uh, people carrying guns, and uh, she seems really upset about it. She's trying to talk to Norman about it. Um, Norman really doesn't want anything to do with it. He's kind of putting it past him. He gets a little angry with her and even gets more angry with her later in the episode. Um, you do find out a little bit more about the whole uh, Chinese uh, women mystery thing. Um, they, they look at the book and they find out that uh, one of the girls was... It, it tied up in cabin four um, and they go into the uh, motel cabin and um, they look under the sink and they see uh, a Chinese symbol written there and so you find out a little bit more of that that uh, particular mystery um, and then uh, Norman is in school he starts seeing some weird stuff he has a, a blackout in school he pretty much falls passes out faints or whatever um, they take him to the hospital his mother's pretty worried about him um, and, uh, yeah, uh, Bradley, I think that's the girl's name, comes and visit him. They have a little moment there. Um, then you go to Dylan's character, who is Norman Bates's brother, and he is now working at the, uh, marijuana field. He's chilling out there, um, with, uh, you know, his gun. He's pretty much guarding it, same thing that the other people were doing. I had a feeling that they was going to go that route when he started talking to the Asian dude and he asked him if he knew how to use a gun or whatever. Um, so, yeah, he's doing that now. Um, a little bit later, they, him and the Asian dude are kind of, uh, you know, talking a bit and uh, getting to know each other. He asked him uh, about uh, his family, and uh, he asked him if he's close with his stepbrother, Norman, and he says, no, not really. You get the sense that that kind of bothers him a little bit. He goes home. He starts talking to Norman. Um, they sit there, have a little brotherly bonding, which I actually liked. I, I kind of like the idea of, um, I wasn't sure about it at first, but I like the angle of Norman Bates having a brother. Um, I think it's cool. Uh, it it, it kind of works good. I wasn't sure about it at first, but I'm starting to like it. Dylan's becoming one of my more favorite characters. Um, and they have a cool moment where he's, you know, basically saying, you know, you can't let your mother control your life like this. You need to... Um, you know, get out and, and, you know, get a little perspective and, and see, see things a little bit differently. Um, so that was cool. I, I liked that moment. Um, and then you find out that uh, the cops show up with a search warrant um, and uh, they want to search the house for the missing guy that uh, Norma and Norman had murdered in the first episode um, who used to own the hotel. Um, they search the place out. Uh, Norman runs home, runs upstairs, and finds out that the belt of the guy that they killed is no longer under his bed, which I wasn't, I don't remember him taking the guy's belt in the first episode. Um, I might have missed it, or they might not have showed it. Um, but another thing I was kind of wondering, if that was the guy's house, wouldn't it be possible for them to, him to have left behind a belt in the house? Um, there was tons of furniture and everything else. I, I, I don't see how it'd be too crazy that the guy would leave his belt behind, but um, maybe I'm wrong there. I'm not sure. Um, so they're a little bit worried about the belt thing. Um, Norma starts talking, goes and sees uh, Deputy Shelby, who is the younger looking cop who um, is has a thing for Norma, uh, definitely, and uh, he says they need to talk, he invites her to dinner, asks her about the belt, uh, she says, what belt, and um, you know, he says he didn't give it to uh, the other cops, he found it, he's going to protect her and stuff, so they, they have that going on, um, which at first I was like, what, this, this cop's going to you know, keep this belt, this evidence, this murder, uh, evidence, and he's not going to tell anybody. Yeah, right. Um, but later in the episode, you get a little bit you know, to know a little bit more about the deputy. So it kind of makes a little more sense, I guess. It's still kind of a bit of a stretch, but I I'm not sure, especially because he just met Norma. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, 
Norman Bates ends up in his room talking to his mother. The only thing is his mother isn't there. So, um, you know, it's, it, it it's kind of, um, I, they're kind of showing the psycho side of Norman a little bit earlier. I thought they was going to, you know, stretch it out a little bit, but, uh, you know, I guess they're going with that pretty, pretty early, you know, talking to nobody, talking to his mom when she's not there. It's, it's pretty crazy stuff. Um, and his mo his the vision of his mother says that he needs to get the belt back and says this is all your fault norman you need to get the belt back or whatever um mentions about how you know deputy shelby can control them as long as he has the belt like his father did um to them and uh he decides to go uh track down the belt um and uh, he goes and breaks into Deputy Shelby's house. He uh, has a fight with a guard dog, and uh, he ends up finding a locked basement door with a bunch of locks on it. Um, instantly, as soon as I knew Norman was going to his house, I knew where this was going. Um, and even more when the locks were on the door, um, he goes down into the basement. He sees a disco ball and like crazy lights and stuff. I think there was some cameras and and uh, stuff like that. He goes into a further back room and the ch there's a Chinese girl there tied up, um, and she asks for Norman's help. Um, soon later, uh, it cuts to de the deputy pulling in, and um, that's where the episode ends. Um, which I like where it ended. Um, <laughs> this show's definitely. Uh, pulling the murder mystery thing card a little bit and I, at first I was like not really feeling it and I'm still not completely but uh, I started thinking about it and you know I guess they need to have you know something in the show some kind of uh, you know filler and, and padding to uh, you know make the show uh, it, it can't just be the the Norman Bates origin story that it, it, they wouldn't it would take too long I guess there has to be something going on in the town um, to keep the show moving and you just kind of have to accept it as a different thing you can't think of it as Psycho 4 or the Norman Bates origin story it has to be the Bates Motel TV show and it just happens that the show surrounds the Norman Bates character um, but there's definitely you know tons of other subplots and crazy shit going on so yeah you, you kind of have to accept that um, which I'm starting to you know I, I this this episode uh, wasn't as exciting as the first two, which is you know expected when you're on your third episode. You know it kind of slows down a, a tad, um, but uh, yeah, I still really like the show. It's it's uh, I, I have trouble like with some of the things. Uh, you can't compare it to Hitchcock's Psycho. You just you're not gonna enjoy the show if you if you do that. You just can't. Um, you know, it's modernized. It's I would much rather it been taking place in the '60s or whatever, but it's it's not. So um, you kind of have to get past that a bit. And if you can, you you can find the show pretty enjoyable. Uh, like I said, I am uh, liking the Dylan character. Um, I think he's a cool uh, character. Um, I, I want to see where this brother angle goes because. Um, I would think that uh, eventually Norman Bates has to kill him. Um, I, that's where I would th think that the show would go anyway. Um, yeah, you also get a Deliverance reference, which I, I found to be pretty funny. Um, yeah, so, uh, I mean, this show is... is it's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure, you know, I tried to make this episode uh, a little bit more structured, the, the this video, because uh, the last one I felt like I was just kind of rambling and going all over the place, and I was, I was pretty tired, and I really didn't know how I wanted to do these videos, um, so I think the last one didn't turn out so good. Um, so this one I tried to make it a little bit, talk about what was going on a little bit more, and, uh, you know, make it a little bit more structured. Uh, I think this one is probably going to turn out a little bit better. Um, another thing, I got to stop watching these, because uh, right as soon as the show ends, it's like next time on Bates Motel, and it shows all the what's going to happen next. I got to stop watching those, because to me, it almost feels like it sh shows you too much or gives away too much, kind of ruins it a bit. And I think I need to, um, next time, I'm, next week, I'm not going to uh, watch what's happening next. Um, so yeah, this this show definitely has a lot of uh, n n almost like a detective story type thing with Norman and, and the girl, you know, trying to figure out the, the whole mysteries of this town. Um, 
And like I said, it's not the greatest thing. Like, it's not how you would picture this Norman Bates origin story. But, you know, uh, it, it's more than just that. It's They're trying to make a, a you know, bigger TV show here. As long as the, the, the main... The bigger picture of, of what happens to Norman Bates, as long as that is told, um, you know, right and uh, it ends up right, um, I could really care less what they do in the background of the show. I just want the the origin story to be faithful and 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 true to the original story, and I will be happy. So, um, anyway, running on a little long here. Bates Motel episode four next week. See you guys.